Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and here's an interesting story. Microsoft will solve cancer within 10 years by reprogramming disease cells. Well, don't get me wrong, I'd love to see this, but... Uh, gee. This is the same company that puts out computers that crash and do all sorts of weird things all the time. Microsoft has solved the problem of cancer within a decade by using groundbreaking computer science to crack the code of disease cells so they can be reprogrammed back to a healthy state. How are you going to do that? In a dramatic change in direction from the technology giant, the company has reassembled a small army of the world's best biologists, programmers, and engineers who are tackling cancer as if it were a bug in a computer system. Oh, boy. Stick to computer science, folks. This summer, Microsoft opened its first wet laboratory where it, where it will test out the findings of its computer scientists or creating huge maps on the internal working of cell networks. The researchers are even working on a computer made from DNA which could live inside cells and look for faults in bodily networks like cancer. The spot cancer changes if it spotted cancer's changes, it would reboot the system and clear out the disease cells. This one's truly out of the Twilight Zone. Chris Bishop, laboratory director at Microsoft Research, said, I think it's a very natural thing for Microsoft to be looking at this because we have tremendous expertise in computer science. What is going on in cancer is a computational problem. Unbelievable. It's not just an analogy, it's deep mathematical insight. Bi biology and computing are disciplines which seem like chalk and cheese, but which have deep connections to the most fundamental level. Five red flags, never to ignore. Any sudden weight loss while not dieting. Blood in your feces or urine. Coughing up blood, a lump in the breast, growing testes, whatever. Severe unexplained pains or aches. Computer computation given biological computation group Microsoft is developing Molecular computers built from DNA, which act like a doctor, spots cancer cells and destroy them. I thought they were going to reprogram them. Andrew Phillips, head of the group, it's said it's long term, but I think it will be techni technically possible in 5 to 10 years to put in a smart molecular system that can detect disease. Programming principles and the tools group has already developed software that mimics the healthy behavior of a cell so it can be compared to that of a disease cell in order to work out where the problems occurred and how it can be fixed. Biomodel analyzer software is already being used to help researchers understand how to treat leukemia more effectively. Dr. Jasmine Fisher, a senior researcher and associate professor at Cambridge University, said if we were able to control and regulate cancer, it becomes like any chronic disease, and then the problem is solved. I think as far for some of the cancers, five years, definitely within a decade. Then we'll probably have a century free of cancer. Well... Obviously, I'd love to see it. I wouldn't hold up any hope, folks. You know, I've heard these miracle cures and stuff before. 
I've actually heard this before that maybe uh, cells could be made to basically grow up and start acting like regular cells. I mean, cancer cells. I don't know. Not something I would ever stand in the way, but I'm not sitting here. I'm not going to sit here and say, well, yeah, yeah, cancer is going to be gone in 10 years. Rejoice, rejoice. I'm not doing that either. Sorry. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.